Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Mmm, I love my coffee. Let me put this coffee down and tell you about this new camera I just got. So I got this new mirrorless full frame camera. Um, a lot of people still call these DSLRs and they're no longer uh, SLR cameras. They're digital mirrorless cameras. Um, that's kind of the current trend. Um, this is a Sony Alpha A7 IV. So it's a pretty new model. I think it's about a year and a half, two years old. Um, pretty nice camera. I wouldn't say it's like the top of the line, but it's definitely a higher end, what they would consider more of an enthusiast camera, not a professional camera. Although I've been reading and watching a lot of videos and a lot of professionals do use this camera um, as like an extra one. So um, it's a sweet camera. One thing I'm learning though is it's hard to use. It's not like taking photos with my you know, smartphone and things like that. Like they, they do a lot to make that really easy and straightforward. Um, the photo quality from a smartphone is as good as it is, is not anywhere close to what these cameras can do. So I wanted to get one of these um, and start playing around with it. It's definitely been a hobby of mine for quite some time. I haven't really talked much about it on the channel and I had some older cameras and so what I did is I traded those all in and got this one. Uh, right now I have this prime lens on here that I just got. Um, lenses are expensive, so just this prime lens is like $900. Um, but it's an F1.8, and if you know photography, that's what we consider a fast lens, and it's a 20 millimeter, so it's fairly wide angle, but not the widest of wide angle. Um, you start getting past 20, and the images start getting distorted a little bit. But um, it's a great camera, and I got this lens for uh, astrophotography, night kind of photography, maybe some, some city photography, and then um, also for action shots. So um, here's some city pictures I've taken um, uh, in Minneapolis here. And then um, I also have a zoom lens uh, that can zoom up to 300 millimeters. So here's a moonshot I took with that lens. Uh, pretty cool moonshot. But yesterday I went to the BMX track. It's indoors, Rum River BMX. Um, and was trying to do some action shots and it's a whole different ball game because you got to be dealing with moving fast moving riders and stuff um, so i have a whole new appreciation for action photography whether they're taking pictures of football soccer baseball whatever basketball bmx motocross <laughs> you name it snowboarding like Action photography is a whole nother level. There's a couple of things that you have to keep in mind is making sure you can get on focus. And this camera says that it has this ability to quickly autofocus on the subject. But there's a bunch of different settings on how to get that right and all this and all that. And I was just playing around with it yesterday. So I did get some decent photos and I'll start toggling through them over here. Um, but it was way harder than I thought it would be. And it was actually my friend Jason suggested I go up there and take some pictures uh, to get familiar with it and learn. And I had to. And the one thing I had to learn was to put the ISO way high because I could not get fast enough shutter speed to not have a blurry image of the rider until I bumped the ISO way up. Well, once you bump the ISO way up, your images get grainy. So there's kind of this whole kind of battle you're fighting trying to take pictures with uh, a digital camera like this. So i um, super stoked on this. I got a lot to learn, but um, this will be added to my channel. Um, the more I learn, the more I will post the photography I do on my channel and it'll be a bit all over the place. Some of it will be biking, some of it will be nature, some of it will be 
astrophotography, landscapes, whatever. Uh, of course, it's middle of winter. We finally got some snow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, we'll see what I can do. But just another hobby of mine um, and kind of happy about it. Um, someday I'll actually kind of go over the camera, but honestly, there's so many reviewers out there that are total brainiac photographers that I just can't do this camera justice or review it properly because I just don't have the knowledge and experience, especially I don't have the experience with all the different types of cameras like I do on bikes, right? Like I could review bikes really good because I've ridden many different types of bikes and, and so on, but cameras, not that kind of experience. So I can't really consider me a justified reviewer of this product. Uh, <laughs> GoPros, on the other hand, I've tried many different GoPros and Insta 360s, things like that. That I can have an opinion on, but cameras, not quite yet. But um, yeah, uh, there you have it. Um, I'm going to finish this video <laughs> with, speaking of GoPros, uh, chesty mount lap around the track. They did just rebuild the track. Um, and so this is the newly rebuilt track. So if you're local here in minnesota or you travel here to race at rum river bmx check out this preview and see what the new track is like it is way more technical than it was before and it's a lot of fun kind of a little above my head as far as my skills go but it's still a lot of fun i appreciate your support for my channel please like and subscribe peace All right, I'm gonna do a lap here for the with the GoPro, but the track is a new layout, so we'll have to uh, check out the new layout. Here. Okay, riders, random start. Riders, straight. Watch the gates. So it's way more technical than it used to be. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> So yeah, this year's track way more technical than it was last year. Wow.